several new Marvel Studios originals have already debuted on Disney Plus in recent years. And now, another classic Marvel Comics hero is on the way, making his first MCU appearance on Disney Plus. Stay with us to find out more about this Wonder Man. The Marvel Comics character Wonder Man has been around for a while and has a complicated origin story and set of abilities that are easily connected to the MCU and will soon have his own Disney Plus series from Brooklyn Nine-Nine writer Andrew Guest and director Destin Daniel Cretton of Shang-Chi. Wonder Man, aka Simon Williams, was created in 1964 by Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, and Don Heck. Before receiving his own standalone series in the mid-1990s, Wonder Man primarily appeared in the Avengers comics. Wonder Man was initially a villain, but Stan Lee put him on hold after DC objected to what was merely a name-related similarity between him and Wonder Woman. Marvel decided to drop the character until DC introduced Power Girl and brought him back as a hero in the 1970s when he established himself as a consistent bassist. Nevertheless, he hasn't had an easy time of it in the comics. A unique twist on Wonder Man's persona is that despite being widely recognized as a hero, he is also shown to be an outspoken opponent of the Avengers, frequently engaging in conflict with them as well as teaming up with them. Although he has a tense relationship with the Avengers, the character is very close to Scarlet Witch and Vision because of their brotherly friendship, their brainwave connection, and their mutual infatuation. As a result of their time spent working together, he is also very close to Beast. Wonder Man has a wide range of powers thanks to the Ionic Rays, including increased strength and speed, flight, invulnerability, regenerative healing, shape-shifting, teleportation, and size modification. In addition to these abilities, Wonder Man is essentially invincible thanks to the ionic rays of his cells, which renders him resistant to aging, illness, and infection, and is now self-sustaining thanks to the ionic energy. Wonder Man can thrive in almost any extreme environment, including space, the ocean, etc., because he is essentially a living being of ionic energy who no longer requires food, sleep, water, or oxygen to survive. The new Marvel Cinematic Universe show Wonder Man, which is in the early stages of development at Disney Plus, is said to be a Hollywood satire. Disney Plus has provided a secondary platform for the Marvel Cinematic Universe since Phase 4 began. Marvel Studios has been able to expand the MCU as they proceed through Phase 4, thanks to the Disney Plus branded streaming service. Following the end of the Infinity Saga, Phase 4 has been bringing in new heroes and villains to the Avengers-focused multiverse, both on the big screen and on Disney+. The show is currently in its early stages of development. Guest is serving as the lead writer, and Cretton is anticipated to helm at least one episode. The Wonder Man show most likely won't be ready to begin filming until 2023, as it was just recently announced. The head writer of the upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe show, Andrew Guest, noted on his Writers Guild of America profile that Wonder Man is expected to be released during the 2023-2024 season, though no official release date has been disclosed. Even though it hasn't been confirmed, the fact that Phase 4 is so full, it wouldn't be surprising if Wonder Man didn't debut until Phase 5. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that it's time for you to smash that like button if you haven't done so already. Years ago, when Wonder Man was being portrayed by a different actor, he nearly made a very brief appearance in the MCU. James Gunn's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 included several deleted scenes, including an Earth Film Festival with advertisements for fictitious films, starring Simon Williams, a fictional actor. He was portrayed by Nathan Fillion, a Firefly actor who has appeared in many director James Gunn films. While Simon Williams' adaptation would have worked well for MCU Phases 1 or 2, Nathan Fillion's Wonder Man wouldn't have. Because of this, Wonder Man by Yahya Abdul-Mateen II is much better suited for the MCU's future. The great thing about Abdul-Mateen II landing the role is that it opens the door for Nathan Fillion to play another MCU character, which is great news for those who were hoping to see a Nathan Fillion Wonder Man make his MCU debut. The same factors that would have made Fillion the ideal Wonder Man also apply to Mr. Sinister, Doctor Doom, Sentry, 
or even beyond her in the MCU. Nathan Fillion might still have a future in the MCU, given the development of Fantastic Four, X-Men, and Secret Wars, as well as the MCU's ongoing casting of new actors to play more comic book characters. In any case, Yahya Abdul-Mateen II's MCU appearance will begin with Wonder Man and could last for a while. Depending on the direction the showrunners take, integrating Simon Williams into the Marvel Cinematic Universe should be fairly simple. Many of Wonder Man's affiliated contemporaries, such as Scarlet Witch, Vision, and Baron Zemo, who all play significant roles in his life story, have already been established in the MCU. At this point, it may be challenging to connect the dots between the characters due to the Scarlet Witch's fate at the end of Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, but the current situation of the recently revived White Vision is consistent with Wonder Man's comic book story. Since Ultron had access to every aspect of digital information, it's possible that he used early brainwave scans from a yet-to-be-released database and used them in Avengers Age of Ultron to create Vision. However, the MCU's Vision was created by Ultron without Wonder Man's brainwaves. This gap can be filled in with some red conning. However, another important element in the introduction of Wonder Man is Baron Zemo, whose character is expanded upon in both the Falcon and the Winter Soldier. If Wonder Man is to have a comic-based origin, Simon Williams being introduced as the head of his father's munitions company, competing with Stark Industries, and ultimately falling from favor due to embezzlement, could result in him getting his powers from Zemo. It would make sense that Zemo plays a role in helping the creation of Wonder Man in the MCU, because Daniel Brühl's portrayal of him has proven to be every bit the crafty, cunning, and cunning villain with big plans. He might try to use a pawn like Wonder Man to exact revenge on the Avengers, just as he did with the Winter Soldier in Captain America Civil War. Basically, there are a lot of tried and true methods for integrating Wonder Man into the MCU that can both honor the character's comic book roots and streamline his complicated on-page journey for the small screen. If Wonder Man becomes a Disney Plus series, Simon Williams will play the title character, a former stuntman and actor, before becoming a superhero. Wonder Man was initially a villain before changing into a hero and making his Marvel Universe debut in August of 1964. As one of the many alternate Avengers teams in the Marvel Universe, Wonder Man was a prominent member of the West Coast Avengers in the comics. The Avengers Earth's Mightiest Heroes is one of the few animated programs in which Wonder Man has so far made an appearance. The character of Wonder Man is well known for his Hollywood connection, which will set it apart from the other MCU series. The show's likely Hollywood setting would be new to the MCU, allowing for a fresh story to develop, with many meta moments as Williams acted in movies and series inside Wonder Man. The MCU Wonder Man series won't feel like a trimmed down version of a movie like some of Marvel's other Disney Plus shows, as demonstrated by Broussard's remarks on serialized storytelling. It would be a unique and exciting move for the MCU to take Wonder Man in the direction of a Hollywood satire. So smash that subscribe button and that notification bell so that you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. It would be fascinating to see how the show would approach that from Simon's perspective, given how the Avengers have altered celebrity culture within the MCU. Considering that Simon is less well-known than any other Marvel characters featured in the franchise, it would help Wonder Man stand out from the other MCU programs. See you in the next video.